boys and girls and parents, welcome to Burn Bray Day Camp of Creative Arts. I'm about to take you on a tour of the camp and you're going to see a lot of wonderful things. You're going to see our campers performing, doing artwork, music, theater, dance, voice, color guard, all kinds of wonderful things that happen here at Burn Bray Day Camp. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I've been going here seven years. This is my seventh year. I've been a camper for six years. Well, I started playing drums here, and I really liked it, and I've just been coming back ever since. And I used to go to another camp, but it was too intense in the sports, and that's why I really like Burn Bray, because it's all about creative arts, and you can pretty much do whatever you want. So it's really easy to change whatever you want to do, and there's a lot of different programs. And it's still, you can still do a lot of sports, so it's all, a lot of fun. What you are watching now is regular theater, not to be confused with musical theater. Right now, there are some of our seven and eight year old junior theater majors are rehearsing for the play The Littlest Pirate. And now we come to musical theater, and these are our, some of our juniors rehearsing for the musical version of Charlotte's Web. because I wanted to get better at learning how to act on stage and performing in front of people. And I came to Burn Bray because um, I love the acting and the performing arts and the creative outlet and it's just kind of my thing. <laughs> at Burn Bray, we have a really cool activity called Rock Band where we have some boys and girls ages 7 all the way up through the age of 15 that are participating in rock band. They play all kinds of instruments, they sing, they do a lot of performance here at camp, and it's become one of the most popular events at camp. And it can be a major or it can be a minor, taught by some wonderful professionals who record and sing with nationally recognized bands, and it's a great program for everybody. I keep coming back to Burnbury because the people here are really nice and the kids are really friendly and it's a lot of fun. I've been to a few other camps, but none of them really compare to Burnbury. Again, here at Burnbury Day Camp of Creative Arts, one of our many wonderful activities is dance, where children learn how to do ballet, tap, modern, jazz, hip hop, and also swing dance so kids can actually jitterbug and teach their parents how to do it. And this can be done as a major or a minor, and our, even our pre-majors, ages three to six, have dance. So again, one of our many wonderful activities taught by professional dance teachers and performers. Counselors, I think, are like really nice. I can't name all of them now, but like they're all really nice here, and I just love it. At Burnbury, we offer brass and woodwind instruments. We give professional instruction in flute and clarinet and trombone and trumpet and recorder. We have jazz band and orchestra and there's many opportunities to perform. It has a very wide variety of things you can do. In my old camp, like you couldn't do that much. Like you have five choices. This one has 20 choices probably more and I, all the things are fun. Uh, the campers here at Burnbury are extremely nice and they're very easy to be friends with. At our camp, as part of our varied sports program, we offer Color Guard, which involves flag spinning and dance. So a pre-major is any camper who is younger than seven 
and up to completed kindergarten. And that would be where they belong to a bunk, sort of like a homeroom. And you would travel around with that group and visit all the same activities that the older campers visit, but you would be having someone watch over you and sort of um, shepherd you from one thing to another. Um, we have a lot of fun at Burnbrae, especially in the pre-majors, because it gives us time to be silly and let the kids explore what their strengths are and to improve on things that might be a challenge for them. So it's a pleasure because we really get to see them grow and develop as they become more confident in their ability to swim, as they um, develop the ability to be part of a team and part of a group, and really what that's all about. And we're about to enter the world of art. So here at Burnbury Day Camp of Creative Arts, one of our wonderful pride and joys is our fine arts program where we teach painting, drawing, art history, famous artists and their styles, and then the children imitate their styles in their own fashion. And we also have crafts, we also have ceramics. Just come, it's really fun. The camp director is a really nice person. All the counselors and the kids here are really nice. And you'll have a really good time now. And like I said, Burnbury is just a really fun, safe, exciting place. Burnbury Day Camp of Creative Arts is not just an arts camp. We do have a lot of sports and sports instruction, I may add. We have tennis, we have archery. We have basketball, volleyball, newcomb, color guard, martial arts, soccer, softball, kickball, and the ever popular gaga, which is just like dodgeball in a corral. And we have professional sports instruction as well. So your children can not only take advantage of all the creative and performing arts here at Burnbrae, but they can have a wonderful time enjoying fitness and sports. We also have a wonderful Red Cross swim program, too. I've been at this camp for eight years. I keep coming back because um, it has more things than other camps. Um, the people are really nice, and there's a lot of fun subjects. Did you have a chance but in Burnbrae, it's just a, you, you're, you get to make your schedule um, and choose the things you like. There's a lot of things you can choose from, so you could, you can, you're most likely going to like a lot of stuff. Also here at Burnbrae Day Camp, including in our many advanced technologies, we offer television and video production as one of our really cool minors. We have professional instructors and apprentices who teach children how to shoot, how to edit, you, and how to tell their story on video. And the children take home their own individual video piece that they have forever and we are able to capture their story on video and it's not unusual to see campers running around camp with cameras and an instructor next to them and they are shooting wonderful footage of camp and they're also making up a lot of their own stories using fellow actors. I'm Martin and I'm officially the camp advisor and in the role of camp advisor I help campers uh, adjust to camp, get to where they need to go, if there's any kind of issues that any campers have, I help problem solve and uh, ultimately have help campers have a wonderful time here at Burnbrae. All three of us have been here for six summers now. Outside of camp, I am a school psychologist. I work for the intermediate unit. So we've had a, a great six years here at Burnbrae having, uh, having fun every year.
One of our very popular instruments that a child can take here at Burnbrae is piano. And what we have, and what I'm going about to show you, is our piano lab, where we have several electric full-size pianos hooked up with headphones so that children can play without hearing each other. But we are going to watch one of our advanced piano students play a song that he has learned here at Burnbrae Day Camp by, by our professional piano instructor. Hi, I'm Michael, and I am the assistant director here at Burnbrae Day Camp. Uh, this is my 10th year at Burnbrae. I spent my first nine summers as head of sports, and uh, this year, this summer, I'm the uh, assistant director. I am a school psychologist. I've been doing that for about 26 years. I work in Upper Moreland School District, um, and that's, that's been my job for a long time. Family comes to mind. It's very family-oriented, um, small, um, structured, I think uh, very positive for, for our campers, of course, but I think parents have that same feel and, and the staff as well. We uh, teach, educate them, uh, safety and monitoring, teaching them different activities, uh, teaching them to get along with each other, working together, obviously very important. Uh, very, very different because it's smaller, very close-knit, and I think that, that shows. You know, not just the size of it, but it's with a smaller group, you get to know people a lot better. We are in the computer lab at Burnbury Day Camp. So as you can see, um, this entire contraption is built out of connects. Uh, a bunch of the um, camp Aiden and Sean here. Um, basically what it does is there's a conveyor belt, brings the little connects balls up to the top, and there are four various ways that it can travel back to the bottom. There's the loop-de-loop uh, -loop ramp, there's a uh, ramp here, there's shoot it can do go down there. My personal favorite is the um, spiral ramp with the uh, pendulums. So um, yeah, it's a very, really fun. We brought it to community day last year. Lots of the kids really liked it. I am using the computer to, to um, it gives me instructions and, and I'm programming my robot on the computer. Things you can do to specify what how it moves is that it's three motors. This is, the three motors on my robot are here, here, and one in the back here. And the directions is which way these um, either mode, motor which I use. I can do A, B, C, or um, two of any combo or all three. And I really like this. This camp has. Uh, the LEGO Robotics program is very fun and I'm really excited. I really like this program. At Burnbrae, one of our best activities is Computer Lab. In Computer Lab, we have several computers in an air-conditioned classroom and we do digital photography here on Photoshop so kids can have an opportunity to do some really cool stuff here in our Computer Lab. It's really fun. So here at Burnbrae Day Camp, we teach digital photography to the children ages 7 through 14, where each camper receives a digital camera, shoots footage, and what you have seen are photographs that the children have made, some Andy Warhol-inspired self-portraits, and then uses Photoshop on the computer and makes wonderful photographs. It's a camp that's a no bully zone. It's because it's like basically you could think that it's basically you could think of it as a camp that's for the campers, of the campers, and by the campers. Yeah.